Scott Farkas, what a rotten name. I'm sure he hears that all the time. I'm pleased to talk with Zach Ward ahead of the new movie, A Christmas Story Christmas. And what is it like being part of this Christmas classic? Uh, it's been a fantastic adventure that's lasted the last 40 years. So everywhere I go now, people look at me and tell me, uh, Ralphie beat me up and then they want to give me a hug. So they do they want you to beat them up as part of the as part of the gimmick? Yeah, there's a little bit of that. There's a little bit. They want me to take a picture with them and maybe punch them in the face. So what is it like all these years coming back to hear that they're finally doing a sequel with a lot of the original cast? It was very exciting. The script was great. Uh, we had an amazing time shooting it. I've known these guys for 40 years. We're as close as brothers. So it was a wonderful, wonderful experience. And the movie's really good. I, I'm excited for people to see it. Yeah, it comes out right before Thanksgiving, but it's going to be hopefully another timeless classic and maybe even these TNT TBS 24 hour marathons. I think so. It's a uh, HBO max, November 17. And um, it's a perfect, uh, it's a, a perfect bookend to the original Christmas story. It doesn't try to remake the movie. It's, you know, the first one takes place in 1943, the second in 1973. So it is carrying on the story of how the characters grew up. And it's a really great movie. I saw in the trailer, they just give a very snippet of your character and it looks like he still embraces. Is there a reason for that? Is it something you can't say? Well, let's see. Uh, no, I'm not going to tell you anything. Maybe uh, Scott Farkas is um, a wonderful, wonderful person and who's this just there to hand out gifts or he's been training in MMA for the last 20 years and he's there to hand out some beaten. You'll have to tune in to find out. So everyone has to watch to get the full scoop. I, I'm not giving away any secrets, buddy. Yeah. And um, what else is has been on your plate all these times? I mean, there's been, so, you said, all this time in between the two films. What else have you been up to? I'm uh, working. I've been making movies and then films for the last 40 years. And uh, coming up in, in December in Cleveland, Ohio, I'm going to be at the Christmas Story House December 17th to raise money for the Alzheimer's Association. Uh, sadly, my father was diagnosed with Alzheimer's uh, two years ago. So that's when I became involved with the Alzheimer's Association and they've done a wonderful, wonderful service of helping people like myself, uh, how to deal with dementia and the decline of people we love. So if you get a chance, come out to the Christmas Story House, uh, you get free autograph photographs, um, take pictures uh, with me for a Christmas card. If you can make a donation to the Alzheimer's Association, that would be great. If you can't afford it, I totally understand. Uh, have a blessed holiday and just share the news so that other people can benefit from the Alzheimer's Association. You can help out people you love. Yeah, that's awesome that there's such a connection with you and with how they've tied it into this, the house that everyone knows and loves. Yeah, well, that's actually the owner of the house. He's a, he's a wonderful person. He's been very supportive of the process. And is there anything else anyone needs to know before they watch the film? They love the classic so much. It, this one still seems so enjoyable. I don't know. I would say watch the original and then watch the sequel. Yeah. So just so you'll catch up on all the little Easter eggs that were layered in there because it's it's really clever.